In December of 2000, British MI5 has Zacharias Massawi under surveillance. The French government had asked the British MI5 to monitor him in 1999, but it has not been confirmed this is in response to that request. It is also not clear when the surveillance begins, but the British Observer reports that it lasts for months and ends when Musawi finally leaves, leaves Britain on December 9, 2000 to attend an Al-Qaeda training camp in Afghanistan. The extent of Musawi's surveillance is not publicly known. The only reported detail is that some phone calls between Musawi and Richard Reed are intercepted. Reed would later be convicted for blowing up, for trying to blow it up an airliner with a bomb in his shoe. British MI5 records the, the conversations between them inside Britain. Opposition politicians in Britain were later criticized MI5 for not realizing Reed's Al Qaeda ties between 9 11 and Reed's shoe bomb plot over two months later. Usawi appears to be in contact with other Al Qaeda figures during this time. For instance, he travels to Yazid Sufat's house in Malaysia. Ramzi bin Al-Sheib stays in London for a week in early December of 2000 and presumably meets with Musawi. Phone records further indicate at least one phone call between Musawi and the landlord of the Hamburg apartment where Muhammad Atta and Marwan al shehi and Ramzi bin Al-Sheib lived. However, it is not known if such contacts are monitored at, at all. Musawi had been staying in Malaysia so they could take flight training classes at the Malaysia Flying Academy in Malacca. However, he is unhappy with the quality of training there. He takes $35,000 given to him by his hosts, Yazid Sufat and Ridwin Isamuddin, also known as Hambali, and spends it to buy fertilizer to construct bombs. He gives up and travels to London in early December of 2000, where he meets with Ramzi bin al -Sheib. Hambali sends a message to, to college Sheikh Mohammed in Afghanistan to complain about Musawi's attitude. On December 9th of 2000, Musawi leaves London and makes his way to Afghanistan to meet with Mohammed. Mohammed decides to take him to flight training classes in the United States instead. He is given an additional 35000 in cash to pay for flying lessons by someone in Pakistan. After he enters the United States in February, Ramzi bin al -Shib wires him another $14,000, this time from a Germany bank account. 